a lot of people think that because they have the metrics for their goals, then they are truly in control of achieving the results that they want. If only this was true. You have time for a coffee? Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy professionals be more productive and get back in control of their own time. Do you have your goals already set? Good. Do you have indicators, metrics to help you compare your performance against your measurable goals? Even better. Now, these indicators, that's going to be a little bit subtle, but do they help you make sure that you're going to achieve your goals? Or are they just indicators that you check at the end of your performance period or after the fact that help you know if you reach your goal or you didn't reach your goal. Do you see the subtlety? Well, there is a difference and there are two categories of indicators, the leading indicators and the lagging indicators. The leading indicator can influence change as opposed to the lagging indicator that only monitors track after the fact. Let me give you an example. If I'm driving from San Diego to San Francisco and I have to be in San Francisco at 8 p.m. So I know it takes roughly eight hours to get there. So I know I need to leave from San Diego at 12 p.m. What is my lagging indicator for this example? My lagging indicator can be my arrival time in San Francisco. So if I'm arriving in San Francisco before 8 p.m., then I'm my indicator is green. Yes, okay, I reached my goal. But if I arrive after 8 p.m., then I didn't reach my goal. But see, it's after the fact. Whether I monitor this metric or I don't, there is no impact on my performance on this trip from San Diego to San Francisco. To keep the car metaphor, it's kind of like monitoring your results, but looking at the mirror, just looking backwards. So what could be leading indicators in this example? I know that on my way to San Francisco, I have to pass by Los Angeles and Bakersfield. So good leading indicators could be my arrival time in Los Angeles and Bakersfield. I know that if I reach LA at 2 p.m and Bakersfield at 4 p.m., it means that I will be on track to be able to reach my goal, which is being in San Francisco at 8 p.m. So that's where it helps you really monitoring and really have an impact of your end goal. If I'm behind schedule after 2 p.m. in LA or after 4 p.m. in Bakersfield, I know that I will have to take action, I will have to have a mitigation plan in order to ensure that I will reach my goal being in SF at 8 p.m. I can either drive faster or maybe take a hitchhiker on the way to go to the HOV line, right? I think hitchhiking is illegal in the US. Hmm. In summary, by monitoring leading indicators instead of lagging indicators make you more in control of reaching your goal. Et voilà! I hope this difference between leading and lagging indicators makes sense to you. What about you? Are you monitoring leading or lagging indicators? Let me know in the comment section below and tag someone in the comments that needs to see this video. Merci, thanks guys for watching this video and I really appreciate that you coming, you checking in every single week and watch my videos. I hope I'm bringing you value. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel and watch more videos. See you next week. Au revoir.